Happy New Year! It's Happy New Year and it is time for a change. The <laughs> sun is out, even though it's like, you know, been like 30 degrees. It's quite here. frosty, really not cold. snowy, but yeah. frosty. <laughs> but I've decided I need a little more brightness. I'm ready to join the blonde group again. <laughs> I know I have a little bit here, but after our last cut, I feel like I lost a lot of the blonde. Yes, yes. So we've been discussing color and... So I think we're gonna take her. You know, it's funny, because everybody wants to try to get away. She got a nice change, gave the hair a little break, which is always imperative. So that way I can go aggressively and blonde her today. <laughs> and we have lots of hair masks all ready. And She's all prepared. prepped. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we are actually gonna take her. Um, definitely I'm gonna go through. I'm actually gonna keep her her base color a little bit actually a little darker than what we've done because she does battle like the warmth all the time so as you can see that some might see this is really coppery gold whatever um so we're gonna kind of drop her down a little closer to her natural that way she can kind of help minimize some of that and then um as far as like her blonding goes i'm only going to be using blonde because she has enough of this warmth in here already that if anything i'm going to um work on kind of getting rid of so this will be good for all the people who have had struggles with um my hair doesn't get that light and bright um one thing going is that she has old residual highlighting in there so that is oftentimes helpful um because i will be interested to see myself to see how light we get her today you know right. these, <laughs> so right. it won't only be you with that problem so. <laughs> because i still have some color yes. on my hair so it's not all natural right through here so yeah right we're, so we're giving her a, a new challenge for the new year we are and i like it i think it's good so that's all so uh, today will be a um i'm not sure on the base color yet but it will definitely be i'm going to probably go in there with with um, Plondor Lightener, and um, I will probably still use 40 volume. Um, I know that's scary, but I use it on her normally, let alone throwing in there these old tones of uh, residual old color. So yeah, a little aggressive. A lot of, a lot of aggressive bleaching today. Yes, so. yes. And as far as um, cut, what we kind of think we're gonna do, we're actually just gonna keep this, we're kind of enjoying a little bit of length. We're gonna have little switch ups, but we are just gonna clean this up on the bottom. Not necessarily like, a, like an undercut today. It's more of, um, you know, possibly changing it a little bit, but not trimming a ton. Like we have some extra pieces from the last cut that were a little, a little um, dramatic. So we're gonna clean those up and, and who knows, we might need a little more cleaning up just because of the way that this 40 volume might might do. So <laughs> yeah. stay tuned. Yeah. See what happens. So we've decided here on the front that we're actually, we do enjoy having this front area um, a little shorter. And then on the other side, we're gonna go a little bit higher on her, um, on her one side, just to give it a little bit cleaner. Uh, line on that side so with that this side we're not this is really just to match the other side there's no function this is just because the long this is her longer side where the hair lays over so we're just kind of matching because we were like well if one side's a little longer it'll look a little goofy so and guard number four. this is number four yes so not too short um, again it is kind of winter and I don't love going super short with everybody's even though the sun's out, like that's it. It's been yes. in the 30s. It's yes. cold this morning out there with the puppy. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. So then this side here, so see she has some length here from the last time. So we're actually going to get rid of that, go a little cleaner. Um, we're initially being a little conservative. We can always cut it shorter. but And we're not going to go too far back behind the ear due to the fact that Shirley has a cowlick um, kind of right through here that pops up. So we're giving a little room because we're, we're not going to exactly be connecting everything on this cut. So we're just cutting where we need to. Changing it up. Right? It's little changes. That's right. When you have short hair, little changes are a big deal. They are. <laughs> right? That's right. Every half inch counts, right? Yeah, literally. <laughs> Literally. You can see what a difference in color. Yeah, I know. The warmth versus my natural. I know. Isn't that crazy? It's so crazy. Yeah. I'm going to do it just through here. And ultimately, I am going to just, I am just going to do um, the number four right to that occipital bone. So she's still kind of enjoying that little V. So little V line, the soft little V line, we'll call it. It's not like super severe in the back. So we'll just take my little comb, kind of my guide. And I always, I always kind of just put it right like here's her little length, which is not much longer. <laughs> but that's how I use it is to be my little guide. This is literally the first foot. So I am looking for maximum coverage without, you know, applying bleach all over. So with Shirley, I am going to do definitely some heavy, especially right through the bottom. We're looking for like that because we didn't do any of the lightning last time, as you can see, um, we threw in some, not, not down here. So as you can see, that color is all just hers right here. So we will just go ahead and really heavily kind of highlight it 
And again, I, you know, rather than putting like bleach on her scalp, she has, you can call me a chicken, but <laughs> she, as you can see, she has a lot of warmth and I have to lift her with so much, as much as I would actually love to lift her immediately to, you know, in a level like 11 platinum plus blonde. Um, Cause I think it would look great on her. Um, my concern is her scalp and how her scalp will deal. Cause I know it will be a one-time process. Like it will for sure be a double process. And uh, so that's where I, I, for me, I tend to use, you know, the foil as my incubation tool and allow that to give me the maximum lift as possible. So that's where I do spend the time to put in those um, foils, maybe a little more than some might like, but um, just to give the extra lift in those little, little pieces. And in her, um, in this, so all on her top, we actually aren't gonna touch up her top with the, um, her base color. So yes, you might go, so the bottom and the top are gonna be two different things. Yes, they are. Um, we've actually done this before, um, but because the goal is, is an all over very full top because she has so much volume in her hair when she styles it and all that. It's not that it leaves like such a hard part that you're looking for like, like heaven forbid when she grows slightly that, oh gosh, you're gonna see that regrowth. So for her, she, that's not like her, that, that's not a problem with her. So, um, with that, I know that, so that's where we're going to be just going for the all over look of the blonde mostly on the top. And then I've, I've decided actually I'm going to help, um, we've dropped down her level slightly to a level six on her bottom. Um, and I'm actually, I'm actually going to wait to put that on. I'm going to put that on after she's done. So with uh, actually I, after I'm done, cause it does take me a while to highlight through this top, especially when we're going so light. Um, and I gotta be a little cautious cause we do have some old lightning moments in there as well. We don't want chemical haircuts. <laughs> Not the goal, as I always say. But uh, but uh, then afterwards, then we can possibly go through and pick out. Um, I she we won't like she likes her base color. Her hair grows out well. Um, actually, with that, you know, I think some people, if you're okay with it and you do a heavy highlight, I think just some people don't necessarily love to do. Maybe the, as hairdressers, love love to do as many highlights. So, thus a full coverage color is where they kind of turn first. So for me, you know, she gets three months out of this color usually. I have to admit, we are actually back in here sooner, mm -hmm. but that's for preference. Yeah. She likes to be a bit longer. Yes. Well, you knew. You knew yeah. that I would probably I, want It's true. I, I purpose committed her to this appointment saying, I think you'll want to go blonder sooner than later. So. And she's right. Uh, <laughs> so here we are in January doing, doing this. So. So she only went two times this time. So we can't say, oh, she got three times out of her color. That's <laughs> the only. last time though, we went four months. So oh, okay, like we definitely did. Out. Then we're all yeah. totally even. We're totally <laughs> <laughs> well, and then through here and through the top, same thing, just really, so now I'm getting to where I've already seen some of these. And then and then I, sometimes I'll just take, you know, foiling and if I find a, a spot where it's a bit darker, then I'll, I'll grab some of that, you know, to go ahead and try to, um, you know, get that a bit lighter too. There is going, because I am um, highlighting, there, there are gonna be pieces in there that aren't going to be touched. So we're okay with that, that's yeah. okay. Uh, but overall, I'd like to get as much as I can with that, so. So under here, I'm just taking, kind of going as far as I need to on her until I kind of find where I started last time. <laughs> and, um, I kind of clip that up and then I thought I'll do a little bit more because overall, again, we're trying to go a little blonder and we have trimmed that bottom because I am going to leave that all a little bit um, longer through there. So we will do this little side. They're kind of like little baby lights. Right? So they're a little bigger than baby lights, but finer through that perimeter. Probably do two to three up. That way they're overall, if you think about it, they're, they're laying lighter. She, a lot of times, her inspo pictures are a lot of times these really blonde people like in a good way and we love that how it overlays the darker on the bottom and the shorter um it's just a matter of making sure we're the right right when, when hair gets a bit short right here i don't like to throw those in foils because you're going to see stripes and so um we'll just leave those yeah and do the next section yeah it's not going to matter that much those five hairs right exactly <laughs> Okay, 
right? So as you can see, I, I've thrown in just one little highlight, which was real fine. As you can see, you can see her regrowth. And then this is from past color. So she got like a little little friend, but that friend helps her with that long. Right. So um, this is what I was talking about. We're actually not gonna cover her like gray 100%. I'm actually just gonna highlight all on the top here. Um, I just wanna just give you a little, show you a little and just show you how I just do continue on the weaving all the way around there. And I'm, um, you know, there's ways you can kind of change this. You could also do like, say like a solid blonde around all those places because that would blend this really nicely. Um, but I, I'm choosing not to only because we are doing that solid on the sides and I don't want it to be like solid blonde on the front and then solid blonde on a real solid dark on the side and then bright on the front. So I think it's less obvious when it's growing out too, but yeah, oh, there's the gray still. And sure. And I'm kind of going in a little bit of an angle just to kind of blend nicely, but I will eventually go ahead and start to the other side and head back with the normal mohawk section. So, Mohawk. Did you know? It's as funky as funky as it gets, girl. <laughs> it is. Yeah, you can all the all the different angles, like on the um, like going like center back is a traditional mohawk, but but you can kind of take it at an angle which like they. Yeah, they'd say is a bit of a softer mm -hmm. line. It doesn't give as much of a hard yeah, line. I, I mean, since you've done this, I have never felt like I have that harsh draw line, but I always did before. Isn't that funny? Yeah. And I never went this long before. I know, I right? So you'd think it would be so different. Right? So I'm just gonna honestly put, like throw a little, some might go, well, why are you even putting highlighting on there? Honestly, it's, it's already highlighted. So I'm just gonna kind of do her regrowth. It's more for texture, all of it being the same. And like that extra body. We do, whether Somebody it be in the front. What my hair texture, or how thick it was, or if I have a lot of body, and it's thick. It's very thick. But the uh, highlighting gives it extra body. <laughs> it, it does. Well, and that's that's what gets tricky. So this is great. Like the thick is great. The blonde is great for when you are short, right? Because I can take out as much. But this is where the challenge gets when you start to get a bit longer, because then it's like, okay, what do I do with all this hair? That's where all right? this little texturizing. Right? And this, scissors come into play and all yeah. that type of stuff so yeah. so as you can see that past color um we definitely had areas of blonde where i kept and then i'm actually if i see an area where like here's more brown i'm just going to go ahead and take that whole section and go ahead and lighten that because our overhead goal here is to be overall lighter all on top so just touch that and then what do i do with the rest of it just kind of feather it down if it needs to be she does pretty well where her, um, she is kind of lucky because her, her hair is thick. It is not as um, vulnerable when it comes to this high level of developer and lightning. Whereas I wouldn't, you know, I definitely would take, if I have a new client, like that's, I look at them and go, what do they need? You know, not everybody's the same, you know, situation. So. doing now you guys might all be wondering is separating her surgically separating. yeah kind of I know this is this is get a little tricky because you have so you just keep it as clean as possible and then what we'll do is um, apply her darker color yeah it's, it's, I think this is why we didn't trim the undercut last time because we didn't want to have multiple colors going on D true on the undercut yeah that is true natural colors different the warmer the tone and the, and the good news is with going a bit like a little darker mm -hmm. that won't be yeah so i am um, using rusk color um six and you could use whatever color you'd like i did half six n and half six a uh, she always has that warmth to battle so i was going with um kind of equal parts for the coverage in addition to her um just darkening her slightly We've done five in before, and that was pretty dark. It was dark. It was actually for so, my liking yeah. on you. Personally, if I could <laughs> She was be, like, oh, it's a little too dark. It's a little too dark. So we were kind of in a moment. She was a little warm. It was. And yeah. she didn't she didn't like it. So we went with that. And I was like, after I had seen her again, I was like, I didn't love that part of myself. So all of us hairdressers there do that. Oh. They kind of go, mm, no. Yeah, it wasn't my face. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this one will be, be a darker, but 
level five, I feel like it starts to get like really dark. Like, I don't know, it's just it's hard to explain, but I really do feel like it's a, like a, a point of, you're not like in the browns, you start getting the dark, dark browns, you know? Look here. It looks good. Yeah. I think it's a, it's, this is a block of seagulls. <laughs> it is. You are my block. We did a cold water rinse. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. Extra shine. <laughs> so, in a good way, we always see positive things when when we're a little brighter and we're wet. That's always a good sign. And I don't see any yellow either. So, that's always like I got a little yellow. <laughs> so, anyways, um, we are overall with our cut, we are definitely um, desiring a little longer. So, we, I'm going to just go through today and actually just clean up our ends because we did such a kind of aggressive light lightning today um, and get rid of some of these funky. We've got some little extra long ones here. Clean that up. And then essentially, just overall, she kind of wants her layers to kind of just get a little longer. So, it's going to be more about me just kind of cutting the internal side, like taking it in and kind of getting in there to keep it lighter without taking away all of her light. So that's our little hair goals for today. Again, cutting this internal stuff. So as you can see, taking a section, not cutting the length and just cutting like, imagine like little valleys in there. <laughs> First, just a little trim, take it a little slow. Sometimes I slow it down, especially when you don't want to do chunking out. 